Hello, welcome back to my tech farm. In this video, I'd like to introduce you Meta CD Printing Services by PCBWay. Earlier, I already presented their FDM and uh, SLA CD Printing Services and also CNC Machining Services. But uh, now in this video, uh, I want to test their SLM CD Printing from different metals. Now, I noticed in, on their website, they have uh, four different uh, materials. That's uh, aluminum, stainless steel, tool steel and titanium. Uh, but uh, I got for this video a budget of $500. This is not a sponsored video, uh, I got this uh, package for free, but if I have to pay for this uh, order, it will be $500. Unfortunately, in this price, uh, the titanium couldn't fit, so I could test only uh, three materials, and I have to reduce a little bit number of the test objects. Uh, to be honest, I find uh, their services a little bit higher, and I mentioned them uh, this and they told me that actually the quality of their services and materials is also higher. So let's find out then. Just quickly let me show you the ordering process. On PCB website I'm going to CNC 3D printing menu point, click on add files and then uh, click on see the printing and uh, adding some files. I usually use, like to use STL type, changing the quantity. And of course the material, let's say I want a stainless steel, which is SLM, CNC printing method. And then I can give some additional informations and I can upload another file if I want to. And here I can see some automatically estimated price. After submitting the request, uh, after it will be reviewed, the price may be changed a little bit. And when all files are reviewed, then I can proceed to checkout. Now let's see the content of the box. And this was content of the box. This is some kind of gift of the paper, a pencil, their logo from, I'm not sure, maybe resin, some PCB samples, this is CNC machined, a holder for my test specimens, uh, I will talk about it later. And I have to be careful with these test specimens because uh, the, I'm not sure which one is which. So I have to check my order and according to the number to make the difference. I uh, there I saw them. So these labels on the bags were super useful because otherwise I wouldn't be sure which one is which. Uh, let's take a closer look of them. So basically I have only uh, three types of the test objects per material. This is printed in horizontal position, so with this I want to check the tensile strength. And here I can see the start uh, surface. And the smallest cross section area is 2 by 2 millimeters only. Yeah, maybe I should measure that. Mm, the thickness is a little bit bigger. And then this test object is printed in vertical position. And let's check if it is really the case. Yes, definitely. So here you can see this uh, starting surface and I cannot see it on this one. Mm -hmm. Only here. So definitely yes, this is printed in vertical position. Um, I'm curious if we have some weaker layer adhesion or something like that with this SLM CD printing. Let's check the cross section too. 2.06 2.04, more accurate. And the third type is this uh, small hook. Again, here the smallest cross section area is uh, 2 by 2 millimeters. And uh, if I remember correctly, the distance is uh, 5 millimeters from the center. So here we have some tensile and bending stress on this test object. So only with this uh, stainless steel object, which is printed vertically, I can see some problems. It's a little bit deformated. And not only in X, Y direction, but also in the Z direction too. Let's see the smallest cross section area. 13. Uh, more or less it is accurate, so I hope this will not have too big effect on the test. But all other test objects looks okay. And these are made from aluminum. Mm. This one is also a little bit deformated. This is CNC machined. 
a holder for my new test specimens. The cross section area is same, the smallest one, 4 by 4 millimeters, but it is much smaller compared to this one, and I don't have that hole and weak cross sections. You will see this in my future videos too. Basically here the accuracy is important only for inner part, but uh, let's measure a few dimensions. Oh, <laughs> exactly 6 millimeters. This should be 28 millimeters. Hmm. Okay, so the accuracy is quite impressive. And of course, if tool steel, then I have to test it with some tool. And I designed this uh, twist drill. It is 13 millimeter in diameter. Looks quite sharp, but probably I will sharp it just a little bit because first I want to drill some aluminum with this and then I will try with some regular steel too. To be clear with the density of these materials, I will measure their weight, actually their mass. This is stainless steel. This is in grams. Two steel would, should be similar. And now aluminum, which density is almost one third of the steel. And I'm starting with tensile pulling test. These test objects are printed in a horizontal position, and the smallest cross section area is uh, 2 by 2 millimeters, but I measured approximately they are actually 2 by 2.2 millimeters in all three cases. And just for comparison, same size regular PLA would break between 20 and 25 kilograms approximately. Very similar broken cross section in all three cases. Next is a layer adhesion test. So these test objects are printed in vertical position, and as you can see, they are wider here and here because I want them to break exactly in the middle where the cross section area is two by two millimeters, and that's accurate. And now some kind of layer adhesion test, uh, and this is the stainless steel, the Teflon version, but I think during the pulling it will be straightened up. And again, just for comparison, same size regular PLA would break around 10 kilograms because of that thicker layer adhesion. And very similar construction areas and for the filling there is no such thing like a weak layer adhesion with these materials. And the third test is with these hooks which uh, will have the tensile or pulling and the bending test here. The smallest cross section area is 2 by 2 millimeters and distance from the center is 5 millimeters. And I'm starting with stainless steel. And this is something what I expected with the stainless steel, it just deformed and uh, it didn't broke. Tool steel. Also tool steel is brittle and again as I expected uh, it didn't deform, it just broke under the bending stress. Aluminum. And let's find out what is the strength of this hook if it is from regular PLA. <laughs> Probably not even measurable. And this is how they broke. Stainless steel is just deformed and uh, slipped from the hook. Tool steel, it is a uh, brittle material, but of course it is harder and it just broke. And I thought the aluminum will have the similar deformation like with the stainless steel, but it also broke on quite small load. And now my favorite test, uh, even if I don't know the results yet, uh, I want to test this uh, twist drill. It is made from tool steel. 
Tool steel means it has a little bit more carbide and it is harder but more brittle material. That's why uh, usually tools are made from that and they can cut softer materials. First I will test it with this uh, 5mm thick uh, aluminum and then I will try to drill this uh, regular steel. It is 2mm thick and uh, I will create a 5mm pilot holes in both cases. The twist drill looks quite sharp, so first I will try to drill aluminum without any modification. Later, if necessary, I will just try to sharp it a little bit on the back surface. I'm starting with aluminum. First I'm creating 5mm pilot hole. The drilling was smooth. Only from time to time I had to stop to break these uh, typical long aluminum chips. No problems with aluminum. I just quick looked on the twist drill and it looks perfect. Of course aluminum is soft so it's not a problem for the tool steel. And now regular steel and creating again the 5mm pilot hole. <laughs> the smoke you see is the burning of the lubricant. The hole is perfect. And now let's see the twist drill. It is not too hot, so that's a good sign. Well, you cannot see maybe in the camera, but I can confirm definitely that this is very sharp like before these two drillings both edges. <laughs> See the printed twist drill, which can drill steel. Let's analyze quickly the results in this Excel table, which is downloadable from mytechfun.com website. Well, uh, maybe for me this is the most important to see that uh, horizontally or vertically printed test objects has very similar strength in all three materials. This is calculated density and it is not really equal, it's a little bit bigger than the real density of the raw materials. Uh, the reason for this is that the theoretical and the real volume is not 100% equal. And about this hook test, uh, these are just brake loads in kilogram, but what is more important here is the type of the brake. As expected, the stainless steel just deforms slips from the uh, testing hook but the tool steel is brittle material so it breaks suddenly but of course it is harder it is good for manufacturing tools and this is for aluminum i wasn't sure for the type of the failure but it also breaks very suddenly and now the conclusions and the first one i know you don't have to remind me I can buy a twist drill, which is probably better and cheaper than this CD printed version. But I was curious and that's why I'm here to test those kind of things which regular people will not. And uh, it is good to know that theoretically uh, we can have a CD printed twist drill from tool steel, which can drill regular steel. It was very interesting that I could use this twist drill out of the box without sharpening. Usually uh, I could sharp this touching, you know, the back surface uh, on the grinder. And in that case I would have even less friction and uh, even smoother drilling. But I wanted to test it as it is out of the box. And the second conclusion, I know that uh, PCB ways SNS and Epiletic services are not cheap. But uh, it is good to know the possibilities. We have here four different uh, materials. Unfortunately, I couldn't test uh, titanium, but let's say we need something from aluminium, stainless steel, or maybe even tool steel. We have this option that we can, I don't know, prepare the step file, uh, upload to PCBWay's website, place an order, and we can have uh, nice, uh, strong parts. And it is good that uh, basically when you upload the file to the PCBWay website, first you will get some estimated price, and then uh, somebody will check that uh, object, and then the price may be a little bit corrugated, usually down, and uh, you can see the price before you place the order. I don't know about you, but for me this was very interesting because I know that I can see the print a tool which can cut a regular steel. If you have some other experience, you know, a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy, I know, designing and ordering. Bye.